In the Middle East, the rental industry is by international standards still developing. Equipment rental is gaining more traction, most contractors in virtually every industry and none more notably than the oil and gas industry. With rental, it's a straightforward cost in, cost out. Um, equally, rental comes typically with services, maintenance, etc. rolled into a single price, therefore giving companies and organisations the opportunity to enhance uh, cost control on the various different uh, projects they work on. Oil and gas has always been a particularly stable opportunity for us. These days, we're looking at not just the traditional oil and gas market, but now gas exploration. And as a good example, we've seen accelerated demand for services in Abu Dhabi with big APC contracts like uh, Hail and Gasha developments, and also with uh, the Ruiz uh, expansion and development. This demand for our products has spiked noticeably in the recent past. We have always and will always continue to present ourselves as one of the largest single sources for equipment rental anywhere in the GCC. The rental industry, like every industry across the globe, was adversely affected by the pandemic. Um, we in Burn Equipment Rental were no exception to that. Um, restrictions in construction, oil and gas, in fact, just about every industry sector was affected. You had the complete wipeout of the events business, which also forms part of our, our core market. However, we adopted that situation. We uh, repurposed and represented our business working with teams across the GCC region. We worked with um, governments, and local organizations in the fight against the pandemic by providing services and products to develop field hospitals uh, in the, the maze of field hospitals that sprung up across the region. Um, now, finally, we seem to be coming back to a new normal, the much overused. Testament to it is this very busy ADIPEC that we're seeing here. When you have a downturn, you start to get more enhanced focus on your operation efficiencies, your costs, and also your focus in terms of market, and where that market is going to be most, pro most prominent for you in the short term future. There's no real secret to success, I think. It's only the, the, uh, the number of opportunities you're prepared to take on. In our case, we have always found that by listening carefully and closely to what our clients want and watching the market carefully, it has invariably helped us to develop strategies as to how we move forward. That happens both in terms of product lines that you wish to bring to market and also geographies where you wish to be. On the product lines, a classic example. Um, no more than 10 years ago, last rated buildings as an example for use in areas of uh, potential explosion, hazardous environments like oil and gas refineries. These were uh, developing, but we didn't have to have a demand for blast rated buildings. Now, the companies that we have and the organizations we have operating, world-class organizations operating across the GCC have mandated blast rated buildings for particular applications. That opened a whole new market for us. We've built up a, a huge fleet of these products now, most notably in Saudi Arabia and to an extent here in Abu Dhabi as well. We, we always look forward to ADIPEC. Um, it's especially this year after the cancellation of the 2020 event. So, um, the exhibition presents us with an important opportunity to meet with old friends in the oil and gas industry and also to engage with competitors, other people exhibiting here. So as we keep up the pace with new technology and, uh, and new products coming on stream, which in, in turn can enhance our business. Today, Burn will be uh, showcasing its uh, uh, ATEX and DNV rated products spread across uh, cargo carrying units, power generation, air, steam, climate control, uh, and turnkey camp solutions. We can provide camps which include offices, uh, mobile workshops, shared or private sleeper units, kitchens, dining rooms, recreation areas. Everything can be done through our in-house teams who are specialists in modular structures from design, build, delivery, install, and operate. Um, we'll also be showcasing our capabilities in the major shutdown turnaround industry. This has been a big part of our business for many years and it's growing aggressively, none more so than now after the COVID restrictions when you have companies that are restarting in that, in that space.